so this is my Yamaha blaster cylinder I've been working on in Fusion. Um, I started back in about February. Taught myself Fusion, learned it about two weeks. I started designing some cylinders. Started off with Yamaha Banshee, and then I moved over to the blaster when I realized that there was kind of a demand for these. This is my second version, I believe. The noise you hear in the background right now is my printer going, printing this off. This is based off of the findings of Fritz over Mars and Jan Thiel. That is transfer shape, angle, um, uh, duct volume, port widths. The cylinder uses the CR125 reed gauge, whether that's the V-Force reed gauge or the OEM one, it runs both. I designed the intake to minimize dead spots. There is a very small dead spot on each side here, nothing porting or epoxy can't fix. So I plan to do a one-off loss investment caster, and if I can get enough pre-orders for these, I will release them. So here's my first prototype. The head stayed relatively the same. Um, so it's for a few changes. Now, this was a very early cylinder. Everything here was completely based off of FOS. Um, and like none of the measurements were correct because I didn't really know what I was doing. The cage doesn't fit, the head doesn't mount, the cylinder doesn't even mount to the cases. Skirts are thin, the ball gets thin there. Um, yeah, these don't even really fit on the cases. Exhaust, the only thing really right on this is the exhaust angle and the reed uh, pattern here. And then after I had designed this cylinder, I said that I was going to sand cast it and make some molds. So this is what I went ahead and did. I printed out all my ducts, just like this, and they all have a little square um, on the end of them that'll, that mounts into the core here. This was to kind of replicate my sand core. Well, I made my sand molds to give me an idea, but that was extremely expensive. So now I'm doing a lost PLA, lost investment casting. This is just part one of who knows how many. So as you can see here, this is how they mount. Shape. Um, I tried to design these cylinders as best as possible based on the stock cases. But yeah, this will just mount into there. That was my whole idea for our sand core. This is currently where we stand with the print. The printer is quite noisy. We're at 24 hours, 26 hours left to go. So it's halfway done. I printed it at the angle of the exhaust. A lot of supports. I'm running this thing as fast as it can go. Got a three kilogram spool. I'm just letting it go. I had issues before trying to get it all right, but it seems like I've got it down this time. So I'm gonna cut back to I'm gonna cut back in 26 hours. When this is all done. Pull them off. And pull the supports off. And see how she mounts. All right, the cylinder is done printing. I went ahead and, and removed all of the supports. Um, the holes were a little bit out of round, so I used this file as a reamer, and it was a perfect size. So I just filed them out. Uh, until they fit, until they were perfectly round, really. Use that. And then I went ahead and threw it on these cases with a, uh, a crushed metal base gasket I kept over the years. I knew I'd have to use it for something at some point. And here it is. Um, this is not the head that will be ran with this cylinder. I have another one I designed. I 
think it looks pretty good. We'll have to see it inside the chassis. Now we're gonna go ahead and test fit in. See how everything mounts. The only thing I'm concerned about is the, these fins here may hit the frame. We'll just have to see. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make some room downstairs so I can get to my blaster. I'm gonna throw this motor in, or just the cases in the cylinder. Looking pretty good so far. Here's my blaster. It's kind of tucked away in the corner. I've had the engine out and apart, specifically specifically for this cylinder. And my original cylinder had a hole in it. I went a little bit far with porting. But here it is. Inside the chassis. It looks pretty good. I haven't found any issues with it yet. Um, I'm still going to mount the exhaust. Um, the reeds. I have... An air box I'm gonna put on from HPM Power Sports for a bigger carb. Oh, I think it looks pretty sleek. Right here, I have a set of NSR slash CR 125 reeds. These are V4s too. Uh, no, they're not genuine. I wasn't gonna pay for genuine ones. These are knockoffs ones I've already modded to fit. What I'll do is I'll junk these uh, pedals. They look like real carbon fiber, but I'll junk these pedals, buy some good reed material, and I'll make my own out of the V-Force thickness. So these are the reeds intended to use with my cylinder. We'll see how they look. So I don't mind the mess, I'm doing a lot of R&D with my 440 engine. And that's why I've got all the aluminum welding stuff out and just a ton of cylinders everywhere. Uh, these reeds fit fine. Uh, I'm only really going to zip tie stuff in place because Nothing is threaded on here. Okay, so here's another thing I gotta do. Um, the pipe is too fat for the head. The head won't go on. Um, and if you do put the head on first, you can't get the pipe on. So that's one thing, not, not a big deal. Um, I'll just, uh, this isn't even the final head, this is, one off my first prototype. I got a different one, but I think I kind of like this one. It looks a little bit more aggressive than the one I have uh, now. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this pipe back off. I'm gonna head to the computer, design another head, and then uh, I'm gonna come back down here and test that one. Here it is with a 3D printed intake on it. Same angle and everything. Um, yeah, it's just that some of the belly and the baffle cone hit this top side of the head here. Again, not a big deal. I'll just go ahead and fusion and cut a big rate eye in this and uh, go ahead and print that. That should be done by the morning. Good. Hi. 
It's extremely cold down here. I'm freezing. Anyway, um, this finished up this morning. It's the hat I redesigned. I cut a radius and uh, these fins here. It's all off of the pipe. One of the fins broke here. It's no big deal. I can fix that. I just gotta extend this little brace out. Uh, yeah. Same thing. Same head design. You know, there's a head gasket on it too. Everything lines up pretty good. I spent a lot of time designing this stuff. Man, it's cold. So this was this was the first head I designed. It kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. It's whatever. Made it so you can actually thread these plugs in. I don't know, I just thought it was cool. Oh hell yeah dude, that thing looks sick. Holy shit. I think it looks a lot better. With the amount of fins we have on there, it kind of blends a lot more. Hell yeah, that looks badass. I'm gonna go ahead and fit the pipe on it now. This is the pipe I'm using, dyno port. I think it's a big bore. I don't know, I brand it on my stock cylinder just fine. Fucking great pipe. I think we got a winner. I think we got a winner. Yeah. Looks pretty good to me. Fucking sweet, dude. Anyways, there it is. We got the pipe on, too.
It looks sweet. This is the only problem I was talking about as this uh, case breather tube here. Just gotta cut a little notch out of the cylinder. And then uh, that should work just fine. Oh, pipe screwed in. It's on the flange. Uh, yeah, I think this one's a success. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Um, I'm glad I could kind of get this going again. Soon, I want to be able to cast this. So in the next video, I will uh, scale this. That'll make a lost investment casting out of PLA and investment plaster after I'm done building my furnace. But yeah, that's that. I may have another video up soon, I don't know yet.